We all know climate change is a big deal, but what if things went the other way? What if Earth starts pulling a major switcheroo and the oceans start draining away and dropping half a mile? Can you even imagine what that would do to our planet? Let's have a look at all the changes that would take place and explore how dropped sea levels would transform our world. First of all, let me get you through what could possibly cause a decrease in sea levels, though it's highly unlikely. One possibility involves a period of extreme global glaciation. A significant, rapid temperature decrease could trigger immense snowfall and expansion of ice sheets. It would lock away vast quantities of fresh water on land, leading to a corresponding decrease in ocean volume. Another theoretical cause involves the Earth's magnetic field. If this field significantly weakens, it could allow the solar wind, a stream of charged particles from the sun, to interact more intensely with the atmosphere. The solar wind might then strip some of the water vapor, a greenhouse gas contributing to planetary warmth. A cooler Earth could lead to increased ice formation and lower sea levels. However, the Earth's magnetic field exhibits relative stability, making this scenario improbable. A large asteroid impact has also been proposed as a potential cause. A massive impact could potentially eject significant water vapor from the Earth's atmosphere. However, such an event would likely have far more catastrophic consequences than sea level changes. And you know what? Some scientists hypothesize a slow transfer of water from the Earth's surface to its mantle through a process called subduction. Subduction zones are regions where tectonic plates collide, forcing one plate beneath the other. While theoretical, water carried down by subduction zones would likely occur at an extremely slow rate, with no observable impact on sea levels in the foreseeable future. Now, I think it's insane to say, but imagine waking up to a world map that looks nothing like the one you know. If sea levels dropped by half a mile, the transformation would be mind-boggling, revealing new landmasses and reshaping continents. Let's start with North America. The eastern coastline would push far out, making New York a city much further inland. Florida wouldn't be a skinny peninsula anymore, but a sprawling landmass, with the Gulf of Mexico shrinking dramatically. Picture Texas and Louisiana with miles of new coastal plains, changing the region's geography and climate. Europe would undergo equally dramatic changes. The North Sea would largely disappear, revealing a new expanse of land between the UK and mainland Europe. How about walking from England to France on dry land? The Baltic Sea would recede, extending Scandinavia and the Baltic states into a much larger landmass. The Mediterranean would also shrink, disclosing ancient landscapes and possibly reconnecting Africa to Europe at Gibraltar. Now think about Asia. The South China Sea, bustling with maritime activity, would transform into a vast plain, adding immense land areas to countries like Vietnam, Thailand, and the Philippines. Indonesia, currently a collection of islands, might merge into a contiguous landmass, drastically altering the map. The Persian Gulf would virtually disappear, expanding the Arabian Peninsula and significantly increasing the size of countries like Saudi Arabia and the UAE. Take the UK, for example. The nation would be unrecognizable without its islands, losing its insular identity. Ireland would no longer stand alone, merging with the UK's western edges, fundamentally altering the political and cultural landscape of the region. The Mediterranean would lose its islands like Cyprus, Malta, and the Greek Isles, leaving a much emptier sea bordered by mainland countries. Africa's coastlines would expand outward, especially along the Atlantic and Indian Oceans. The Red Sea would pull back, creating new land between Africa and the Arabian Peninsula. Vast new deserts and fertile lands would emerge, ready for new exploration and settlement. Looking at Asia, the absence of islands would link what are now separate landmasses. Japan's islands would connect with the Korean Peninsula, while the Philippines might merge with the broader Southeast Asia mainland. These changes would drastically alter trade routes, ecosystems, and weather patterns. Australia would see Tasmania merge with the mainland, and the countless islands in the surrounding waters would disappear. The expansion would redefine Australia's coastline, creating new landscapes and opportunities for settlement and exploration. Meanwhile, New Zealand, typically isolated, would see its islands fuse into a more giant, more prominent landmass. Africa would lose its coastal islands, changing the dynamics of its maritime boundaries. Madagascar, one of the world's most unique ecosystems, would no longer be an island, fundamentally altering its environment and biodiversity. The Mediterranean losing its islands would expose more ancient landscapes, potentially revealing new archaeological treasures. 
The dramatic reduction in sea levels and the loss of islands would also have significant cultural and historical implications. Many islands hold deep cultural significance and are home to unique communities and ways of life. Their disappearance would mean the loss of these cultural treasures and a shift in how people identify with their geography. Moreover, in Australia, the transformation would be mind-blowing. The continent would balloon, with the Great Barrier Reef becoming part of a new, extended coastline. Tasmania would merge with the mainland, making Australia one continuous land mass, New Zealand would look nothing like today, with the North and South Islands fusing into one and extending further east, creating a new landform. South America wouldn't be left out of this grand transformation. The Amazon Basin would change its course dramatically, carving new paths through the newly exposed land. The Andes Mountains would no longer be the continent's western edge, but would have broad new coastal plains on both sides. Antarctica would reveal much more of its hidden land, with the ice shelves turning into vast new territories. It could unlock countless scientific discoveries and potentially reshape our understanding of this icy continent. This drop in sea levels would not just create new land, it would also reveal long-lost archaeological sites and ancient landscapes. Not only this, but half a mile drop in sea level could also impact bridges in ways we can't even fully imagine. Consider the example of a bridge from the UK to Europe. Right now, that would mean building an enormous bridge or tunnel. But if sea levels dropped and new land appeared, it might be possible to drive over land in some places. We wouldn't need to drain the Mediterranean Sea, which would be a massive task. Instead, new land could naturally connect these regions. In the UK, there's been talk about building a bridge from Northern Ireland to Scotland. This project is all about bringing the UK closer together. If sea levels dropped, new land might make this bridge easier and cheaper to build, creating a direct land connection that wasn't possible before. Italy has also dreamed of building a bridge from the mainland to Sicily. It would be the longest suspension bridge in the world. If sea levels dropped, the gap between the mainland and Sicily might shrink, making the project more feasible and less expensive. Moreover, marine ecosystems would face a devastating blow. Coral reefs, crucial for countless marine species, would be bleached and exposed to the harsh sun, leading to mass die-offs. Fish populations would struggle to adapt to drastically altered habitats, disrupting the delicate food chain. Change Changes wouldn't just be confined to the oceans. Even weather patterns would be disrupted. Ocean currents play a major role in regulating global temperatures. With less ocean, the weather could become more extreme, with hotter summers and colder winters potentially exacerbating existing climate problems. The newly exposed land wouldn't be a guaranteed resource bonanza. Coastal aquifers, currently replenished by seawater, might be compromised, leading to water scarcity in some regions. Freshwater supplies could become a major concern, sparking further conflict or forcing innovative solutions like desalination on a massive scale. Not only this, there's a lot more that could happen. Archaeological wonders, currently hidden beneath the ocean floor, would be revealed. Lost cities, swallowed by the sea millennia ago, could be unearthed, rewriting our understanding of history, uncovering a perfectly preserved Roman port city, or the remnants of an unknown ancient civilization would be possible. Shipwrecks, time capsules from bygone eras, could be salvaged, offering invaluable insights into past cultures and trade routes. Fossil graveyards, currently submerged continental shelves, could become accessible, providing paleontologists with a treasure trove of prehistoric life. 